A powerful PC can be defined in so many terms depending on how it's used. Not everything needs to be a 240Hz high refresh gaming powerhouse and depending on who you ask and the needs of the user, even something that PCMR evangelicals might consider pedestrian may be just the powerhouse they need for what they do. There are so many people out there who could benefit from something as simple as a budget gaming workstation PC. So I custom modded a computer I had on hand and set forth to find it a good home and give it away to one very deserving person. My name is Chris, this is Coalition Gaming, and today I'll be your computer technician. Real quick, if you're new around here and are into PC hardware, tech, gaming, stream tips, tutorials, news, and reviews, then you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss a single upload. Also, I stream to Twitch every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv slash Coalition Gaming Crew. So feel free to stop in sometime and talk some tech with me. Anyways, let's get to the video. Back in August, we put out a video challenging other tech tubers to build the best gaming and streaming PC they could on a $250 budget. I ended up with the staple of this channel, an HP Z400 pre-built with a Xeon X5676 core 12 thread CPU, 12 gigabytes of RAM, a 128GB SSD, and 1TB of hard drive space. Then I upgraded it with the Radeon RX 474GB and boom! Now we've got a computer that can game and stream way better than you might think. Video linked above and down below, of course. Make sure to check it out. After that project was done, I had the computer here at home just taking up space. So I wondered to myself, what can I do with this? A personality trait of mine is that I like to remember the people that help me when they don't have to. I have a cousin that lives a little under an hour away that did exactly that and uh, even when I made a mistake and uh, further inconvenienced him, he still went out of his way to help me out. Catching up with him last time I saw him, he told me he doesn't have a computer. A little backstory, my cousin raps and his brother helps write and produce the songs they record at his brother's home studio. A long time ago, I did a budget Z400 custom build in a Raid Max Gamma case. This system would be more than strong enough for your average home office studio use. Anyways, I surprised my cousin, the one with the home studio, with this build for him to make his studio computer, and he can he could game on it too if he wanted. <laughs> what the hell? What's up, bro? These brothers live about 30 minutes apart and they've ended up sharing the PC depending on where they wanted to record due to being the most powerful PC either of them have access to. Sharing a desktop between houses 30 minutes apart in LA traffic no less can definitely turn into a pain in the butt. So circling back to this Z400 build I put together, I think the decision became pretty clear on what to do with this computer and it was to surprise my cousin who didn't have a computer. How can I take this up a notch though? How can I really make this PC stand out? How can I make a $250 customized budget pre-built look like another beast entirely? Oh yes, time for a case mod. Time to pimp this thing out with a clear side panel, shiny new paint job, and some RGB. I needed some tools to accomplish what I wanted to do though, so I borrowed an angle grinder from my dad so I could use it to cut a hole in the side panel for the window mod I wanted to do. Like I said, my cousin is a rapper and pimping out a PC is the most fitting thing I figured I could do to spice things up. After cutting the hole in the side panel, I masked off the computer to protect its internal components and used some Rust-Oleum glossy white spray paint to give this thing a nice new paint job. After that, I went on over to my local Lowe's to pick up an acrylic sheet, which they cut down to size for me. Lowe's is great because they will help measure and cut acrylic panels to the size that you need, whereas Home Depot will not. On the way home after that, I picked up some car door edge trimming from an AutoZone. This stuff is super useful to make imperfect cuts like the ones I made on the side panel look nice and clean. Then I applied some Gorilla double-sided mounting tape to the modded case panel and attached the acrylic sheet. Threw in an RGB strip, and boom, mod complete.
So with the PC ready, it was time to head over to my cousin's place and hit him with the surprise. Like a suitcase? It's like trying to wrap a bicycle. No, it's a briefcase. It does look like a briefcase. Yeah, but it's a suitcase. <laughs> no way. Check it out. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Wow, look at that. HP some but I customized it. Painted it, it up, a, did a side panel. Wow. It lights up. It smells fresh. Yeah. <laughs> There's lights in it too. The control. I have a oh, I see that. That's a control. The control right here, this is uh, so you can change the color of the lights and inside too. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, cute. Good. Let's, get, let's play Fortnite, play Call of Duty. Oh, okay. that. <laughs> Fortnite, uh, Fortnite on PC too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. share that on. Mm -hmm. Really? Anything that you mm -hmm. yep. oh, yeah. mm, Looks nice. Yes. Green? What else can it do? Got different colors. Do that. Thank you. Now we got it. Now we got it. So now both cousins have a strong computer to do what they need for anything from studio recording to gaming, regardless of which house they are doing it at. I couldn't be happier to have been able to hook them both up. The world can be a big mean place, so I'll take any chance I can to put a little positivity into it. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope that any chance you all have to put some positivity into this world is a chance that you take. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, you know what to do. Subscribe for more awesome content, and uh, yeah, we'd really appreciate it. Feel free to join us on our Discord, follow on all our socials, all that jazz. Everything is linked down in the description below. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. She really wanted nothing to it, I'ma give it to her Thinking back and forth, hoping out of ruin What we build and collapse into the sewers, keep it real I feel a little pain, I feel a little guilt I feel a little shame, I promise that I'll change Three months, three months, three months later Man, I'm doing it again I fall into the bed, now I'm thinking with the wrong head Talking to myself, relax, relax, don't put it in Pack it up like Madeline Wrap it up, no medicine will help you then You're fucked when you're fucked You never wanna miss fast love When you throw the ball up and it lands on the rim Life gets dim, all you do is sin You ain't DJ Cali, you never gonna win So you better think about it Life gave you limits and you only made a sour You feel like a coward, coward